I think mental health for me personally is a balance between mind, body, spirit, and soul. And it's not just a one singular point problem, right? We have to look at it as a whole because we are multifaceted as a person. And um, how do I achieve my mental well being? Well, it's taken me many, many years to arrive into a place where I feel like I can truly manage my mental health every day. But I also think the biggest thing I can share with the audience is really like, we are human having a human experience and it's okay to not be happy every single minute of every day and it's okay to have negative emotions but i think what is most important is that we give that self-compassion to ourselves and say hey it's okay i'm allowed to feel all these feelings these feelings are valid and tomorrow or even the next hour is a new time for me to shift out of that and then continue there. So in my personal practice, my first go-to is always essential oils aromatherapy because that was kind of my gateway into all things holistic for me on my path and journey. And I think also for those who want support in the mental health space or just anywhere in their healing, um, I think it's the easiest touch point to experience because A, 80% of what we smell directly affects our mood. And if you're smelling amazing oils, that can just shift your energy really quickly and you smell like a spa when you're walking around. <laughs> um, and secondly, for me, affirmations and energy healing. I do it every morning um, and I don't just do affirmations to lie to myself. <laughs> I create realistic affirmations that make me feel good and allow me to shift back into a vibration that I want to be holding for the rest of the day. Well, there's energy healing that I really love, and whilst there are many energy healing modalities, um, one that is more common and well heard of is Reiki. And so this is a really great modality for those who are feeling very stressed, um, holding on to a lot of emotions, um, maybe they're very anxious, they have like a lot of body aches and people who don't really like to open up and talk about their emotions this is a great one for those of you who you know resonate with those few characteristics so you i think for me personally and for a lot of the clients that i work with when we're constantly operating in a stressed environment we're not able to function optimally right and with the practice of reiki it helps you shift back into that vibration and frequency of calmness so you're not stressed so your nervous system is balanced and when you have achieved that state then everything's just clearer and everything flows better and you're able to tap into your potential even more and become even more efficient i think first and foremost know that it is okay to not be okay and there's nothing wrong with you um, it's just that society doesn't talk about this as much as they should be um, and the next step is realizing that there is something that is imbalanced and looking for the support that feels right for you. Not everyone is destined to book in a therapist right away. Some people just need a friend to talk to, you know, without judgment. And if you have a friend like that, that's awesome. And if you don't, you can go online and look for one, right? And there's so many different resources and platforms for this type of support now. So don't feel like this is the end of the world because there are resources. You just need to look for them and find the way that fits you best. It's not a one size fits all formula. Happy Mental Health Awareness Month. If you are struggling with mental health, please reach out to someone who you trust and get the support that you need.